Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amulya's Academy. We were discussing about binary search tree implementation and in the previous tutorial we discussed about delete method. Today in this tutorial I'll explain you how delete method works with few examples. So this is the delete method which we wrote in the previous tutorial and this is the main program where we'll create object first bst of 10 so 10 will be the root node next we have list of values we'll insert that to the tree next we are calling pre-order method to print the nodes according to the pre-order algorithm next we have root dot delete and here we need to mention which node i want to delete first let's take a node which doesn't contain any child node so zero child node let's see how this method works for that so before that I need to write down the tree for this right. So we'll get a tree like this when we insert the given value to the tree. Here first let's check when I call delete method for this node how it works. So we are calling delete 98. So here data is 98 and uh, self is nothing but root. So first it will check root dot key is none. No root dot key is 10. So it won't execute this. It will check if data is less than self dot key. Here data is 98. Self dot key is 10. So 98 is greater than 10. So this condition false. So it will go here elif and it will check data is greater than self dot key. True because data is 98. Self dot key is 10. So it will execute if self dot r child. So when I see the data is greater than the roots key, I'll check whether r child is present or not. Here r child is present, self dot r child is not none, it is some value. So what it will do? It will take self dot r child equal to self dot r child dot delete data. So now it is calling delete method on this. Because here we can see the function call for this method. What it will do is it will stop the execution of this now. It will pause this and it will execute this first this function call first self dot r child dot delete data that is uh, now it will execute this function body for self dot r child so here it will pause the execution of this and will come here so now data is same that is uh, 98 self is nothing but self dot r child this now 2002 now so it will check if self dot key is none no here it is 98 it is self now so it is not empty so it will check whether data is less than self dot key so 98 is not less than 98 data is also 98 self dot key is also 98 but it is not less than so this condition become false it will check whether data is greater than self dot key no both are equal not greater than uh, self dot key so it will come here in the else part and it will check if self dot l child is none yes self dot l child is none right here you can see it's l child is none true so it will take temp is equal to self dot r child. So temp becomes none here. And it will check self equal to none. So it will make self as none. Self is nothing but this. It will make this as none. And it will return temp. So it will return temp. Temp is nothing but none here. So it will return none. So what it will do is it will return some value. Now after executing return, we can't execute any other statement. So where it will return, it will return this temp value to the place where it is called. So this is called here. It will return this temp value to here. So now it will become none. This function returns none. So self dot r child becomes none. So self dot r child becomes none now. So here this will become none. Next we don't have any other statement to execute here. Next it will execute the last statement of this method that is return self. So self is nothing but this now. So, so function call returns to here. Okay, here we called root dot delete 98, right? So it will return back to here and it will print next lines after deleting and it will print the nodes in the pre-order. Okay, in this way, this method works. Let's take another example. 
Here let's delete a node which contains one child node that is 3. Here if I want to delete 3. So here data is 3, self is nothing but root. It will check self.key is none, no. This is self root node. So self.key is none, no. So it will check data is less than self.key. Here data is 3, self.key is 10. So this condition becomes true. So it will check if self.lchild. Yes, self.lchild is present this. So it will check self.lchild equal to self.lchild.delete data. So that is nothing but we can see the function called to the delete method and we want to apply that on self.lchild. Now it will execute this method for left subtree. This, the execution of the this method for entire tree is paused now. It will execute this for this. So it will check self.key is none. Here self is this, self.key is 6. 6 is not none. So it will check whether data is less than self.key. True, data is less than self.key, right? 3 is less than 6. So it will check if self.lchild. Yes, it is self.lchild is present. So it will call self.lchild.delete data. So now here you can see we are applying delete method on this subtree. We are pausing the execution of this delete method on this and will execute this now. So now self becomes this. It will check if self.key is none. No, self.key is not none. It is 3. So it will check whether data is less than self.key. No, data is 3. Self.key is 3. No, data is greater than self.key. No. So it will come here in the else part. And it will check if self.lchild is none. No, here lchild is not none. Here you can see we have a node here. So it won't execute this. And it will check if self.rchild is none. True, self.rchild is none. So what it will do? Temp equal to self.lchild. Now it is become temp. And self equal to none. So it will uh, delete this. It will make this none. And will it will return temp. So it will return this 111. Okay. Where it will return? It will return back to this now. So from after executing this method for this, it will return some value to this where it is called. So this was called here when I executed this self.lchild.delete data. So now it will return this now 111. So now self.lchild becomes 111. So here this will become 111. So this is deleted and it is pointing to here now. Now we don't have any other statement to execute here in this method. Right after executing uh, this self.lchild delete, we don't have any other statement to execute. So it will come out of this and it will return self. Return self. Self is this now 1001. It will return back to here. Now in this delete method for entire tree, we don't have any other statement to execute. Right. So it will return self. So control will go back to here where it is called. Here we called it for 3. So it will go back to there. And next it will print the 3. Next let's take an example. The node which contains 2 child nodes. So I want to delete 10. Data is 10. So it will check whether self.key is none. No. So next it will check whether data is less than self.key. No. Here data is also 10, self.key also 10. So data is greater than self.key? No. So it will come here. It will check whether self.lchild is none? No. Here it contains lchild. If self.rchild is none? No. So both this condition become false. It will come here. Node equal to self.rchild. Now self.rchild becomes node. Now we need to search for the node with the smallest key in the right child so that's why we are performing this while node dot l child so here we can see node dot l child is none it doesn't have any l child so this while condition become false so it will take self dot key is equal to node dot key i'll take self dot key is equal to node dot key node dot key is 98 so we are modifying this we'll take 98 here both are 98 now Next, self.rchild equal to self.rchild.delete node key. So what it will do, it will pause this and it will execute this function call for self.rchild now. So here node.key is 98. 
so we are calling this on 98 now here data is 98 if self dot key is none no self dot key is 98 so data is less than self dot key no because here uh, data is also 98 self dot key is also 98 so both this condition become false it will come here if self dot l child is none yes so temp equal to self dot r child self equal to none it will make it as none then return temp so it will return self uh, dot r child that is the temp value that is nothing but none here it will return none to here okay this function uh, body and it was paused here so self dot r child becomes none so here self is this self dot r child becomes here none then it will execute return self so it will return to the method where it is called that is the here in the main program okay in this way this node is deleted now if i want to delete a node which is not present in the tree then how to do that for example if i take 100 data is 100 here if self dot key is none no if data is less than self dot key no if data is greater than self dot key 2 because uh, data is 100 here self dot key is 10 so self dot r child is present it will check yes self dot r child is present here so it will take self dot r child equal to self dot r child dot delete data so it will pause the execution for this entire tree and it will start to execute this method for this now so now here self is this so it will check whether self dot key is none no it will check data is less than self dot key no because uh, data is 100 self dot key is 98 so it will come here and it will check whether data is greater than self dot key yes 100 is greater than self dot key so it will check whether self dot yeah, r child no it doesn't have any self dot r child it is false so it will execute else print given node is not present in the tree right after executing that it won't execute else part it will execute this return self what is self here this this is self right it will return this result to the caller of this function this method that is here self dot r child delete data it was called from here so self dot r child becomes this value 2002 now we don't have any other statement to execute next it will execute return self and it will return back to its caller i hope now you understood how this delete method works and if you have any confusion you can ask me in the comment section so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care